Chrome OS 93, new features. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Welcome everyone to our Learning Chromebook series. For the past three months, I've done a session on new operating system. We're now up to Chrome OS 93, which should be on your Chromebook now. But let's have a look what really the OS means. Let's talk about the difference between Chrome and the Chrome operating system. All right, in the top, you'll see the Chrome browser. We have many different browsers to choose from. Of course, we have Safari, we have Opera, and we have Firefox. All these browsers will run on different operating systems. So let's take the most popular browser, and that's Chrome. And Chrome, of course, will run on all operating systems as well as all types of devices, whether you have a phone, tablet, or a laptop. And that is the Chrome browser. But what's the Chrome operating system? Is that the same thing? Because that's what we run on our Chromebooks. So the Chrome operating system has the Chrome browser built into it. It's different than the Chrome browser and that it is an operating system, and this is what powers your Chromebook. So now we have, of course, the Chrome browser, and we have the Chrome operating system. Now, following Chrome's version 93 release on Android, Mac, Windows, and Linux, the next release of Google's browser is rolling out. In fact, Chrome 94 is here, and marks the start of upgrades every four weeks. This is a change uh, that has occurred, and Google has now decided to be very punctual with upgrades to the Chrome browser, and we will be seeing a new version each month. Most of you have Chrome OS 93, so what do you expect? Well, the Chrome OS is not starting this monthly rollout until we reach Chrome 96, which is another couple of versions, but version 95 is being skipped entirely. So there will be no Chrome OS 95. We'll be going straight to Chrome OS 96. Now, usually the Chrome operating system number follows the browser number uh, three to four weeks later. It usually takes about uh, two to three weeks for Chrome to rewrite the operating system to um, include the new browser. So we often see the Chrome OS coming out uh, about three weeks later. Now many of you have Chrome OS 93, but the Chrome browser 94 is rolling out this week and will be part of a new four-week cycle, so we should be seeing 95 in about a month. Now I want you to take a look at some operating systems. In the top left corner, you have the Microsoft operating system Windows 10. And of course, it is a very big truck. It's, uh, it needs lots of horsepower to move, consumes a whole bunch of gas or power. And it needs this to power all the legacy applications that Windows has to use. So that's why you have such a big, powerful computer with lots of RAM to run Microsoft Windows. Look at the bottom right, and you have the Apple operating system. And again, it is a very big operating system. You need a lot of horsepower to run the Apple OS. Now, on the bottom left, you'll see the Google operating system, the Chrome OS. And I want you to think of this as the Mazda Miata. Goes like stink, needs little horsepower, and not much gas. And that, my friends, is the, uh, what the Chrome OS is. Now, let me explain how the Chrome operating system works on your Chromebook. First of all, there are two copies of the Chrome operating system on your Chromebook. There is a primary copy, which is the one that you use all the time. And then there is a secondary copy, which is the one that gets updated. Hey, that's a novel idea. 
Come on, Microsoft, can't you learn something? Remember all those times with Windows where you're right in the middle of a presentation and it wants to update the operating system? Nope. Chromebooks always have had a primary and secondary copy, and this secondary copy is the one that gets updated. So it never bothers you, right? And it, since it's such a small operating system, it doesn't take up much space. The second thing is, is all Chromebooks have a TPM chip. Now, you probably are hearing more about TPM chips now because of the new Microsoft Windows 11. Finally, Microsoft probably learned something from Chromebooks. Chromebooks have always had TPM chips in. These are security chips made by Google that are encrypted and locked so they can't be changed. And as the um, operating system starts up in your Chromebook, there's three levels of security that your operating system goes through to check and make sure that everything is fine and that uh, is checked against the TPM chip in your Chromebook. If there are any problems, of course, it will revert to the previous version, and if needed be, it will go onto the internet, download, and install a brand new, fresh copy of the operating system, taking only minutes, not hours or days. So this is what makes a Chromebook so secure. Now, so I've said your Chromebook has two copies of the operating system. It has a primary copy and a secondary copy. And the secondary copy is the one that gets updated. So when you're not looking, Google switches them. It switches the secondary copy and makes it the primary copy and then goes back and takes the primary copy and of course applies the upgrade to it. So how does the process of switching copies occur? Well, this occurs when you restart your Chromebook. So you do need to understand this. So in order to restart your Chromebook, there are three ways that you can do this. You can restart your Chromebook using the Chromebook interface. And in the diagram here, you'll see, of course, the power button on the software. When you click the power button just beside sign out, that should shut your computer down. When you shut your computer down and restart it again, then the copies inside your Chromebook are switched. Option two is to use your keyboard to restart your Chromebook. To do this, you have to press and hold the refresh plus power button together. The refresh key looks like an arrow and is the fourth key from the left on the top of your Chromebook's keyboard. And this will restart your computer. And the third way you can do this is by using the power button on your Chromebook. And you can just push the power button and turn it off. Now, why is this important? It is important because if you don't restart your computer, you'll never get the new copy of the operating system. Now, if you're like me, when I finish with my Chromebook at the end of the day, I just close the lid and that puts it to sleep but it does not reboot the computer, so it doesn't change the primary and secondary operating systems. So if you are like me and you just sort of close the lid and you never actually reboot your computer, it's important to manually update the operating system every so often. And I'm gonna show you that in the next part of this video. Let's see how it's done. So today we're going to look at the Chrome OS 93, which has been released to some Chromebooks in the last week. I want to review just how to update your Chrome OS manually in case you haven't automatically done this as we described earlier. So let's come down to the, um, to the shelf. We're on the Chromebook shelf here at the bottom. We're going to, again going to click our accessibility menu and we're going to come up and uh, to the settings, this little settings button here, we're going to click settings. Now, uh, then we're going to come over to the left and we're going to click about Chrome OS. This is going to click here. We're going to click here. And again, we're going to come up and you'll see check for updates. 
So we're going to do that. Let's check for updates. And it tells me my Chromebook is up to date. The version is 93.0.4577.85, which is the official build. So I am up to date. But if I had not repowered my Chromebook, in other words, cold booted it uh, and just closed the lid, I would not have the latest version. So we do. So now um, we can come down. And so for this version of OS 93, let's see what's new. So we're going to click this. And this is where you get all the information about your new uh, Chrome OS. Chromebooks update automatically to provide you with the latest features and keep the software fresh and speedy. And here are some highlights of the update. So the first one is better video calling experience. With the new Google Meet app, you'll get improved performance and easy to access features like video backgrounds that makes meetings more inclusive and fun. Google Meet is also now pre-installed on all new Chromebooks, so it's easy to search for the app pressing the everything button or the search key. Well, let's have a look at my computer and my Chromebook and see if I have the Meet app on it. So we're going to come back down to the shelf at the bottom here. This is the shelf and we'll come over to our launcher button and we're going to type in Google Meet. And of course, it's looking for all the apps on my Chromebook. This is a new feature in the launcher where you can just search and look for all the apps that you have. But I don't see Google Meet here because I don't use Google Meet. So what would we do if we wanted to use it? Let's think about that for a minute. Let's, uh, let's close this. And let's look down here. And of course, uh, we're going to click the up carrot here and let's come over to the Play Store. Now remember the Play Store is the Android store that we use for our of course our Android phones but this is also where we can download apps from the Play Store. So let's uh, click the Play Store and it's going to take us to uh, Google and here is my Play Store and I'm going to type in Google Meet. And here it is. So let's click on this. And this is about this app. And it says uh, Google Meet. It's made by Google. And this is the app that we were talking about. And I'm going to install it. So let's click Install. And it says that it's verifying and it's uh, identifying it as a verified play protect. So this means that Google has checked this out to make sure that there are no viruses. All right, now we've installed Google Meet. Let's come back. And another new feature of Chrome OS 93 is adding an emoji with a new picker. It's even easier to express yourself with emoji on Chromebooks. The new shortcut, and that's the everything button, or the search key, plus shift, plus space, brings up a compact emoji picker. You'll be able to see your recently used emoji, search, and scroll for others. With a click, insert the perfect emoji into a conversation document or any text field on your Chromebook. Let's see how this works. I'm going to come down now and we're going to come over to uh, to my Gmail account. Uh, I have my uh, cursor here and I'm actually going to right click the mouse and right click the mouse on a blank uh, part of the uh, screen here and you'll see at the top it says emoji and uh, you can either get there by clicking on this button or you can hit the search shift and space button 
So let's click this and see what happens. And here it brings up all our emojis that we can choose. And we can choose across the top here many different ones. I sort of like the apple one here. Let's click this. And that now inserts an apple into our email. And wherever you are in your Chromebook, whatever um, uh, app you're in, this will work. And uh, you'll be able to add your favorite emoji. And it shows you the recent ones used. And you have quite a selection here. You can go across and there's some pretty, pretty interesting ones here that you can use. Uh, so have some fun with this. I always like to, uh, like to include uh, an emoji or two in my email. It always adds a little bit of interest. So this is a new feature for Chrome OS 93. Personalize your desktop. We have already shown you some of the brilliant pictures you can have, but you can certainly personalize your desktop with new wallpapers. Try them now by right-clicking your desktop, choosing Set Wallpaper, then Togetherness. And you'll have a great, great choice of some beautiful images you can put on, on, on your Chromebook. Now, more files at your fingertips. You might already use Tote for quick access to your recent downloads, screen captures, or any files you have pinned. Now complete scans from the Files app and reports from the Diagnostics app will show up in the Tote. So once you have scanned a document, it will be easier to find right on your Chromebook shelf as it will go right into the Tote. The same with the Diagnostics app. Uh, this is a new feature that came out in last edition. Let's just have a look. Down at the bottom here on the shelf, you'll see the Diagnostics app. Let's just run this and see what happens. All right, let's see what the Diagnostic app is going to show. Well, it's going to show that I'm running out of battery. I only have one hour and 15 minutes left. You can also run a discharge test. It tells you um, your CPU, what the current temperature is, uh, what the current uses is, and what the current speed is. And you'll see its graph there as well. It tells um, th how much memory you have. Uh, and I've used 2.26 gigabytes of my 7.68 gigabytes available. And you can run a refresh on this or a memory test. And the results of these will be saved in the tote. Now it's been multiple years since Google revamped the app drawer for Chromebooks, replacing the aging card launcher with a touch-focused one. The redesign launcher brought usability improvements to touchscreen Chromebooks, but the experience is quite unintuitive with a mouse. While Chrome OS doesn't address the issue entirely, it introduces a tweak that makes moving apps feel a lot less slippery. If you tap and hold on an app in the launcher, you'll see a new UI that makes it easy to see where your app is going when moving it around. Speed up video playback. If you're watching a lengthy video or series, the time saved by speeding it up slightly could amount to hours without necessarily making the content hard to understand. With the newest Chrome OS 93 update, the Chrome browser will integrate playback speed controls right into its media player to save you the time. While Chrome's new video speed controls can be used on all platforms running 93 or greater, it earned a special place on the list because the enormous amount of time it could save with long videos.